Wildcat Football Weekly, presented by Hughes Federal Credit Union, home of the official U of A debit card. Get yours today at HughesFCU.org. The Wildcats get set for their season opener coming up on Saturday afternoon in Salt Lake City against the Utah Utes. That game will kick off at 2 p.m. at Rice Eccles Stadium. And you mentioned this last week, the outstanding job that the medical staff has done there on campus in terms of keeping your players healthy, making them aware of how to stay healthy. And uh, during these uncertain times right now, that has to be almost as critical as anything, correct? I, 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 I you know, our, our, our whole situation with um, our medical staff and how they've, how they've treated people, how they're doing things and, and from uh, our president on down, you know, the, the ability to test five, six times a week um, and, 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 and put us in a position where, you know, everybody feels safe to play football has been a great thing. And I think our parents and our players, I know our, our players, cause I talk to them every day, appreciate that. But I think uh, the communication with our parents uh, has been great. And, you know, unlike maybe some other situations where, where people don't, don't have that. So our players feel like they're in a good place, health, safety wise. And, and uh, Dr. Robbins, I think has done a great job of, of, of really leading the, being in the forefront of what player safety or, or student athletes you know, what that looks like. Has anything surprised you over the last couple of weeks in terms of your team's preparation for the season opener? Let me just say this, Brad. I mean, it's 2020, right? So everything's a surprise right now with uh, preparation, with play, not play, uh, COVID uh, testing, you know, everything's different. I think the most, I said this before, what you're seeing uh, in, in college football, you've seen teams that have played poorly week one and then come back and win the next week. Or you've seen as you adapt to a normal schedule um, and the, the teams that, that can adapt uh, and, and adjust, I think you're seeing them win uh, or play well. And and so, you know, for us, we've had a little more, more time, but Nobody knows, right? So this is completely different than training camp or fall practice. It's a completely different deal because you're in school. And so how you're training, what you're doing to get ready to play this week one becomes so important. Um, and does that mean that win or lose, is that the right thing? Don't know yet, right? Because I've watched a bunch of teams play poorly on week one and go win week two. I watched some other teams play great week one and they're like, who's that team week two? So, you know, it, it's a shortened season. It's late in the year and uh, who can adjust and adapt? I think that's what, what's going to make the difference. Hughes Federal Credit Union is proud to be recognized by Forbes as one of Arizona's best credit unions three years in a row. This national recognition highlights our commitment to high quality products and services, our customer service, digital services, and financial advice. At Hughes Federal Credit Union, we offer low rates on loans, lower fees, and many free services. Make the switch. Join Hughes today. Visit HughesFCU.org slash best. Wildcat Football Weekly continues, presented by Hughes Federal Credit Union. Forbes ranked Hughes one of the best credit unions in Arizona three years in a row. Learn more at HughesFCU.org slash best. You have a new defensive coordinator in uh, Paul Rhodes, a couple of new other uh, defensive assistant coaches. For the average fan watching a game this Saturday, will they notice anything dramatically different about your defense? You know, I, I think so. You know, the, the, the first thing is that, you know, we, we, we're moving to an odd front, right? So, you know, from uh, four down to three down. And so trying to get our best players on, on the field. And, and like I told you, I, and I've told everybody, I've known Paul forever. And, uh, you know, even back when he was at D.C. at Auburn or Pitt or all these places. And, and he, it, it's always been difficult as a head coach. You know, in Iowa State, it really put them on the map, making them a problem team. I mean, 
And, and so, you know, he, he what what we sat down and talked about is about the effect of, hey, look, the best players, getting our best players on the field, regardless of, of, of scheme, whether that's nickel, dime, what, what does that look like? Is it is it two linebackers? Is it one linebacker? Is it three linebackers, right? Um, so, you know, I, 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 we spent a lot of time in the last two weeks deal, dealing with that. And I think it's been, a, it's been a great, it's been great. Grant Gunnell has been atop the depth chart at, at quarterback last year in his eight games, hit 65% of his passes, nine touchdowns, uh, one interception, just, he looked very good as a true freshman. Now, what is the next step for Grant now as a sophomore? I, you know, when you're young, you're, you're at the, uh, you know, what to do stage, right? Getting plays. I think as you get older as a player, it's it's how to do it, right? What 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 that looks like, what the preparation is. And as a quarterback, um, you know, the, the hard part, I think, for young guys at quarterback is to step outside themselves because other guys are looking at you, right? And you've got to get yourself ready, but you also have to get the team ready. Right. You're, you're the other personnel. And, and so that is the hardest part for a young player, particularly a young quarterback to, to, to deal with. And um, he, he's handled that very well. I, I, I think, uh, you know, it, 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 it's been a little bit different for him, but step outside yourself and you've got to be that guy. And uh, you know, when you're the backup quarterback and, and granted, you know, um, he was a quarterback when we, we beat UCLA. Um, so he, he is, he's been in real games. He understands it and he's seen it. And so his ability to talk to other people uh, on our team, not just offense, but to talk to everybody else about what that experience is like with, with so many young players on our perimeter or in our secondary, I think it's been invaluable. Coach, let's touch a little bit on Utah. Kyle Whittingham is the uh, dean of coaches in the Pac-12. He's been around longer than the Pac-12 existed. He was there back when, of course, Utah was uh, was in the whack. His coordinators return again. They they lost a lot of personnel, but and yet you've got that same coaching staff. So as you prepare for Utah, even though some of the names on the field might be different. Is this just is this Utah football as you've seen it here in the past? Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, Kyle's done this a long time, right? And and you, you go back to when uh, when they're in the whack, or or when even I, I refer to even TC when Gary was in 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 the Mountain West, right? So these guys have been doing this for a long time. They have a system. It's proven. Um, they're going to be a really good football team. That's the that's reason they're preseason top 25 um, because they're going to have a, they, they, they're, they're going to have a really good team. We're going to go there. Um, probably the, the, the best thing for us, it's not going to be a blackout right there with the DJ and everything else. So ambient noise is a good thing. We're going to play football, but uh, they're going to be solid across the board. No, no matter what happens, uh, Kyle has done a great job. It, 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 that program is it's a top 25 program and so we've got you know our, our, our plates full so we get there we got to play and and uh, no matter who rolls out there quarterback who rolls out there wherever they 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 just you know they they continue to um replenish their their talent and uh, their scheme is their scheme, and, and uh, they, they do a great job. Thank you for watching Wildcat Football Weekly, presented by Hughes Federal Credit Union, home of the free U of A Visa debit card. Get yours today at HughesFCU.org, federally insured by NCUA.